cards. So we're gonna pick a color, either red or black. And the way we're gonna do this, right the way we're gonna do this is you're just gonna pull a card out. So just go ahead and pull a card out, any card you want. Look at the card and show the camera everybody. It's fine. We can see it. Oh. Uh, throw that back in the deck somewhere. So what color did you have? Oh, black. So now Teresa's gonna try to pull a black card out of the spring when I spring it. Just any black card? Any black card. Or that card? No, just any black card. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, she got two black. <laughs> Why are you even bet? Alright, we'll do it again. Watch it. <laughs> Make sure it wasn't luck. Okay. Pull the card out. Red or black, doesn't matter. Black again. Black again. Alright, put that back in there. And Teresa, black card. You get it? That's your card. <laughs> Is that just a chance? Yeah, well, we'll do it. Watch, just stop? Some, tell me stop. Stop. So a red card this time. Okay. And again, I'll spring, pull a red card out. That's fine. Let me see. Ah! It is! <laughs> Crazy How? stuff. How? Alright, um, <laughs> we'll do one more. We'll actually go a step further. We'll do the suits of the card. So you pull the card out, any card. What is it? A heart. a heart. Okay, so throw it back in there. So since you pulled a heart out, Teresa is now going to grab a heart out of the spring. Second try. Second. Okay, here we go. Second time's a charm. Two of them! <laughs> you got two. All right, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Ready? Throw these back in there. All right, um, just pull the card out. Okay. Diamond this time. Diamond. Throw it back in there. Diamond. What was it exactly? No, wait. No, just six. 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 six of diamonds. Yeah, yeah. Six of diamonds. Six diamonds. Ready? Wow. <laughs> no freaking way. <laughs> Alright, thank you. So in this video, we're going to teach you how to do the uh, ninja spring grab, but like making it into a trick instead of just grabbing a single card out of it. So, um, Below, I'm going to link a couple videos on how to spring the cards, if you don't know how to spring the cards, and also how to do the ninja spring grab. So, um, this trick, is just a couple little tricks that I did uh, in the performance video. Um, how I had the deck set up was red and black. Okay, so black on the bottom and red in the center, just like this. And for later, um, I'll get to that later. Okay, so again, what happened in the video is I got her to pick a card, whatever color she picked out, that's what color we went to grab. Okay, so in this case that was the four spades. And all I had to do is spring it like this. And Therese had to pick in the bottom area of the deck, right? Because those are all the black cards. Again, the top's red. So if they picked a red card, all she has to do is wait until it gets to the top portion, right? And she could pick any of those cards, right? So that's how that one worked. Then after this, what I did is I set it up for the deck with spades, hearts, clubs, or sorry, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, chased order. I'll put a, a description of that, you know, in the description. So, um, what happened was, um, before the trick started, there was all hearts on the top, then we have all diamonds, then we have all spades, and then we have all clubs, okay? So at this point, what I did is with two cards, I put a breather crimp in the card, which allows me to cut directly to the card that I need to. In this case, Ace of Spades, which separates all the clubs from the spades, and the other one is the Ten of Hearts, which separates all the hearts from all the diamonds, okay? So again, hearts on top, so if I cut the hearts off just like this, then over here I cut the deck, let these fall, at the Ace of Spades. If I can get it, it's kind of old deck. What I do is I put the hearts underneath the spades, you can see this in the video performance, and close it up. So that now leaves us with the chased order, being clubs down here, then we have hearts, and spades, and diamonds. Okay. So now at this point, when she picks a card, say she picks the king of hearts, all Therese has to do is wait till the, the bottom fourth of the deck goes by, and she can pull out in the portion of the hearts. So again, it would look like this, springing, and about here is when she starts grabbing. Right, there's a heart, then this little portion, and after that, it's pretty much up. Okay, so it's kind of a timing thing. We'll give you a couple um, video performances real quick of how to do it. But uh, again, it's diamonds. You just wait till you get more towards the top. About that area there, you take all the diamonds. I just realized um, 
I didn't teach y'all how to do the crimp, the breather crimp. So check it out. Come over here. And yeah. So I'll show you how to do it real quick. All you gotta do is take a card. Uh, in the trick, in the performance, or the explanation, again, I use the ace of spades and the ten of hearts. Over here, I just use a random card to explain it real quick. So what you do is um, you're going to place your fingers kind of like this, two fingers on the bottom, thumb on top, so it kind of makes like a little, um, I guess a little, I don't know, a little section right here to put your finger, right? And so what you're going to do, you're going to place your thumb in the center on both sides, or both sides of the center, just like this. Again, fingers underneath like so, and you're gonna pull outwards like this. So as you can see, it's bending the card a little bit. Then you wanna do it to this side like so. Okay, perfect. So it leaves the card a little bent, okay? So two of clubs. If you were to take that, cut that into the deck, you can always cut back to this, oops, here we go. Again, this is a kind of older deck, but two of clubs is right there. Uh, it's picking up the ace of spades because that one has a crimp in it too. But again, you can always cut back to the two of clubs when you want to, shuffle it in the deck, right? And dropped it, sorry about that. There's the two of clubs. It's gonna be legendary. So again, we have clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, right? Clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. There we go. So if somebody were to pick a card, say this one here, the two of hearts, Therese again only has to wait until the bottom of the fourth of the deck has gone by. Okay, then at that point, this fourth of the deck, Therese can grab from. So again, heart Therese, go ahead. Just like that, she got two hearts actually that time. So again, which can be more impressive sometimes because you can act like, oh my gosh, she got two, like how'd she do that? You know, if the person picks it, uh, as you saw in the video when I did that trick to my mom, she freaked out even more when Therese got two of the same card, right? Two of the same suit. Another example, right? So in this case, if somebody picks a spade, right? Uh, queen of spades in this case. Again, I'm just going to spring the card, and she's going to wait till half the cards go by, about that much. And then from there, she's going to have this half of the portion of what's left to grab the spade. Again, which would be about a fourth of the deck, of the deck, right? Which is about there. That many cards to grab from. So, go ahead. Just like that. So you got the three spades, right? So again, it's basically just a timing thing, it's something you gotta practice, something you gotta get down, which it doesn't take too long at all um, to get the timing down, to get the suits. All right, so uh, one more thing that I have to mention about uh, performing the trick, which I actually didn't do when I was performing, it's kind of messed up the trick a little bit. Um, it's replacing the cards, putting the cards back in the deck once they pick a card out, okay? So, start it off, red and black, right? Hearts on top, then diamonds, then spades, and then clubs. Yeah. So, um, what happens when they pick either red or black first? Then going through, and they pick a black card, right? So I'm just spreading the cards. Actually, can you go ahead and pick a card out? Reach forward. Perfect. So what? She picked the card straight from here. So at this point, I split the deck. She sees the card, and I put it back exactly where I found it. Okay, just like that. So it doesn't mess up any of the order of the cards. Because if you take the, say, King of Diamonds, for instance, and you put it back in the top. You might put it back in the heart section there, okay? So we'll do that. Um, so again, another example, go ahead and pick a card out. Picks one out, I split where she picks the card. Looks at it, go ahead and put it back. And I put it back exactly where I found it. Okay. That's the first part. Second part is when she picks the, uh, when she picks the suit, right? We'll go like this. Um, again, you cut off the top and the bottom, right? Hearts spades and you put it in the order that it should be for when you perform the one with the suits. So it's the same exact thing, they pick a card, you split where they pick, you look at it, they it's put it back legendary. exactly where you found it and you close it up. This way it ensures that you don't mess up the order of the card. If you notice in the performance video, when my mom picked a card about the center or here, what happened was she picked out a diamond. And if you remember the order of the diamond should be on top. So at this, that point when I closed it, I was like, you know, crap, you know, what was your card? And all I was trying to do was fix that one card, in this case the nine of diamonds, and place it on top of the deck, just like that. So uh, that's all something you need to know, so you don't mess up the trick, so you don't mess up the order of the cards. Keep them in the, you know, the same order, the order they should be in. All right, so uh, this here is gonna explain how to put back the card after your assistant grabs the card out of the spring. 
So we'll go over that. Say they grab a heart out of the spring. You can do this one or two ways. Uh, first way is estimating. So you know that the bottom is clubs, right? Then hearts, spades, diamonds. In this case, we have pulled out a heart. So you know that it's not in the first packet, but the second packet, right? From the bottom up, okay? So at this point, what you do is you take your card, and again, you estimate where you think it's at, and stick it in just like that. It's actually not too hard to do so, just like that. The five goes over there with the hearts. And you can do that with the other cards, right? In this case, a spade. So she pulls out the spade and you put it in about where you think it's at, just like that. So with the other spades, okay? So you can do that. All right, uh, so the second way you can put the card back after uh, your system pulls it out is you can riffle up the back just like this and see the cards as they go by, right? Obviously, you want your spectator to be in front of you because if you go like this and your spectator is right here, they can see the cards and they see all the suits, you know, going by just like this and pack it. So that doesn't look too good, right? So you can riffle through like this. Say they have a spade or she pulls out a spade. When she goes to put it back, or before she goes to put it back, excuse me, roof up the side until you see a spade, place the card back just like that. Right. So one more time, in this case we'll do a heart. You roof up until you see a heart. Once you see a heart, they place the card back, and you just put all the cards back on top. Um, now there's one last thing which we're going to do. I'm going to show you the uh, video performance first. <laughs> This is gonna be edited out, so we can do oh, what we want. Is it Aaron? <laughs> Grab an ace out of the deck. Two aces. Two aces. Uh, so for that one, what's gonna happen is you're gonna take the four aces, not four spades, four aces, and you're gonna place them about halfway down, okay, in the deck. Now this one, <laughs> it takes a little bit more skill, more practice, more timing down. Again, that's about halfway in the deck. And so basically what you're doing is you're increasing your chances of the odds of, or increasing the chances of you getting an ace, okay? So again, you want to put it about halfway down. And it requires timing by both the person springing the cards and the person grabbing the cards. By how fast you spring them, or you know, how even you spring them and all that. If you might do it in like things kind of like this or whatever, it all depends on all that. So again, this is just going to take practice. It's going to take us a couple times. Might even not get this the first four or five, six times, but... We'll try this. Dreams. Pull an ace out of the deck. <laughs> We're gonna edit that one out. <laughs> but she knocked an ace out. Right? So she was, <laughs> no, I mean, you were right next to it. That's why you were close to it, is the thing is what I'm getting at. So, she's gonna throw that one back in. Three of them. So, we'll do it again. Um, again, aces are halfway in the deck, right there. Put them all next to each other. Pull an ace out of the deck. I think you're a little early that time. Go ahead. All right, uh, so in that last one, sorry, it keeps cutting out for some reason, but she pulled the ace of diamonds out. The ace of spades actually fell on the floor, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, basically that's just a timing thing there to get down. It doesn't take too long to get it down and practice for, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour or so about the timing, and that's all you need, really. And take some time to practice, you know, the spring. If you don't know how to do the spring, get that down first. And then, you know, you need to expect our helper to get down the, uh, the grab. That can be kind of difficult, though. So just watch that video over and over and figure it out. Um, yeah, that's about it. So hope you enjoy it.